Hello friends, welcome. Uh, in this video we are going to work with the uh, database. First uh, you need to install the database. So in our Mac you just, if you have installed the, if I open the terminal, if you have installed the brew, homebrew, we can say brew and install MySQL, but I have told you in the first videos how to set up the Mac for the Laravel. So after you have installed the MySQL, in my case I have installed the Table Plus, you can install also any software you want, and just connect this with a so right click here and make a new connection. I have connected this and select the MySQL, say create, give it the name. I name it Laravel new, for example, give it the host, which is localhost one, uh, sorry, one, 127.0.0.1. The port is by default 3306, the username, and the username if you have installed like this, you need to say root, and the password is going to be empty. But if you want to change that, you can change in the database. And you can test after that. Okay. But I'm not going to, I'm going to delete this one because I have up here. So I have here. After that you open this and say create a new database. So just go up here to this icon and say new and I'm going to name it essential. Click OK and now we have this database in our machine. Now let's Connect the Laravel, open the in the config. What I have told you, we have this database file for the configuration of our database. And here, the first one is the default one. We have the default to the, to the MySQL also. We have this uh, db connection na name in the .env file. So we have env and db connection by default is given the MySQL. And MySQL is coming from the connections here. We have SQLite, MySQL here, uh, Postgres and some others. Now in the MySQL, here we have the driver, which is MySQL, the URL, host, port, database, username, password, and Unisocket, all of them has the variable inside the .env file. You see here, URL is as the variable database URL, host as the variable database DB host, sorry, port as the DB port, and database as the DB database. So if I open now the .env file, let me close this one and also all them. So if I go in the .env, we can see here we have the DB database. And by default it's coming with essential because we name it essentials. If we can name Anything else here is going to be the same name here. And also in the app URL, it's giving the name and dot test. Now we add the name, also the DB connection MySQL. And this is by default. The host is localhost and the port is 3306, the same as we have. The username is root as I have and also the Password is empty. So now let's go and 
test if we can connect with our database. But to do that, I'm going to say if you go to the database migrations in a Laravel documentation, here we have database and go to the migrations. But let me go to the terminal and I'm going to say PHP artisan. Oh, we need to go. I need to go to the directory because I am not there. CD in the essentials. And now around the PHP artisan. And here we can see we have some. Uh, we have migrate fresh, migrate install, migrate refresh. So this is create the migrate creation repository fresh is drop all tables and rerun all the migrations status show the status of each migration reset uh, is going to roadblock all the database migration and migrate roadblock roadblock the last database migration also we have the some other commands Here we have the migrate, PHP artisan migrate is around the database migration. So let's see that. That's around the PHP artisan migrate. PHP artisan migrate. Hit enter. And now we have the migration table created successfully. And this is migrated, this one. So create users table create password reset table and paid jobs and also the personal access token this is coming by default with laravel so let's open the table class and refresh and we see we have all the migrations here and this the migrations table has all has all the migrations we have in our database so right now we have the users migration the password reset migration and the failed jobs okay now let's go and uh, create a new migration as i said so to create a new migration we need to run the php artisan make migration and give it the name so create the name of the migration and say table so let's say here php artisan make migration and i'm going to say create boss table hit enter and created the migration with this uh, timestamp and create boss table okay now let's go here i'm going to close everything and inside the database go to the migrations here we have the migration we created the last one the first one is the user table which is coming by default with laravel and here we can see the migration return a new class this is new in the Laravel 9 and the migration has uh, two methods the up and the down method the up method is called when we create a new database and the down method is called uh, when we make a mistake and we want to uh, revert that change and uh, this is what the down method is doing so for example here we have the schema facade and we call this a uh, create static method so the up is going to create the users table the down is going to say drop if exists so if this users exist in our database is going to 
drop that. Okay. Now in the users table, we can see we have the ID, the unique ID. We have a string for the name, a string for email, and also we change the unique here. We have a timestamp for email verified. We have a string for password and remember token and timestamp. If I go here and create our post table, now in the Laravel documentation, you can, uh, yeah, here we have PHP Artisan Migrate to run all of your uh, outstanding migrations. Make migrate status. So if I copy and run this one, it's going to show our all status. So the all the tables as run, just the post table not because we we have just created the table, but we are not calling the migrate after we created this table. So we need to add some uh, fields here, and after I'm going to do that. Now for the fields, you can uh, go back here. We have reset and everything. Fresh, migrate fresh. You go and check out this. So creating table. But let's navigate down. And uh, here we have the available column types. So big integer, uh, boolean, and double enum, plot, string, text, and so on. So if I click hit the string, we can say the string method create a virtual equivalent column of the given length. So we give the name and the length here. So let's go and create for our uh, post. It's going to be a simple one. So let's say dollar sign table, and I'm going to say string here. So the same thing as here, and I'm going to say uh, title. So title for our post. Next one is going to be the body. So I'm going to the body is going to be text and say body. And also I'm going to add a boolean one to say if it if the post is uh, published or not. So let's say the sign table and say boolean and I'm going to say is published okay and here I'm going to say a default I'm going to give it a default value to be zero also you can give it here a uh, text of body we can give it a nullable if we want so nullable and now this one is going to be not necessary to add something so we can make it null. And also if you want to add a default value for string or for example add it unique, you can say here unique like this. But I'm not going to do that. Just as it is right now and uh, now let's run again. The, you see here we don't have this run. And if I run the migration, HP Artisan migrate. Now we created only we migrated only this table, this one which was not a run. And now if I say migrate status again, now all the tables as run. Okay, so that's it uh, for this video, friends. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.